I've done similar things before, so I feel good about it, but I've never done it to this level and this extreme before. It's new territory for me. I've never driven a race car before, it's my first time. I've certainly never crashed a car before. My work tends to test boundaries and I like to challenge myself and push myself to the limits a little bit. The initial idea just kind of came to me. It started out uh, looking at a past trauma. This is uh, a long time ago now. It's something that um, it's kind of haunted my boyfriend and I, but we only recently came to talk about it and, and I actually blocked it out for 10 years. When I was just kind of coming of age, really, um, my boyfriend and I were abducted. Uh, we were drugged and taken to a, a, a house that we didn't know, um, and we were both attacked in the house. And, yeah, kind of came to the next morning and uh, he actually broke the door down to get out of the house the next day. It was only a couple of years ago when I um, remembered it again and I brought it up with an old friend and he said, you told me about this, but I didn't know how to handle it, so it kind of went under the carpet. Unfortunately, because I blocked it out from my memory, it's only really been taken to the police recently and it's it's actually presently being looked at. Um, yeah. I kind of wanted to almost recreate that incident in a strange way, but this time I'm in control, I'm in the driving seat. The car is kind of like me. I've got pictures of myself as a little girl and growing up. I have this strong belief that objectification in society and gender binaries can create sexual violence. So I'm both personifying the car and objectifying myself. I should imagine that it's going to take a certain mindset to actually let the car go. The work isn't really about overcoming the trauma. Um, it's more just having a conversation with it. I don't see it as therapy, but I think that it can provide that at the same time. So I don't think that that's its strongest power. People are afraid to talk about these things. Like, if it's happened to you, you're damaged. And actually, although I blocked this out for 10 years, I feel like I've had a great time. So it's a performance piece with a sculpture at the end of it. There's going to be people that will look at this work and uh, think that it's quite a risky way to deal with my demons. But it's almost like an escape from my identity. It's almost a celebration and an act of courage. Not being afraid of destroying something to move forward and create something new.